Watching the last eight at Italia 90 and memorable scenes of Jack Charlton, John Aldridge and co in the heat of USA 94, the Republic of Ireland find themselves in the unwelcome position of outside viewers of France 98 and tonight they get a taste of what they're going to miss as twice world champions Argentina visit Dublin for the first time in 18 years. Well, the Republic of Ireland very much going through a transitional phase. It's a new look side with just a smattering of the old that coach Mick McCarthy has selected for this one. Niall Quinn returns to the international frame at the age of 31. Long problems with injury, but having an outstanding season with Sunderland, he partners 17-year-old Robbie Keane in attack. As for Argentina, well, Daniel Passarella has brought the big guns back in the wake of last week's surprise 2-1 defeat to Israel in Jerusalem. The South Americans still smarting from that defeat. It sparked a wave of protest back home in Buenos Aires. And Passarella has made six changes to the team in all. Notably though, he has continued with the services of star striker Gabriel Batistuta. Now back in favour after a long running row with the Argentine national coach. A row which still sees the absence of playmaker Fernando Redondo of Real Madrid. Immediately Batistuta trying to get involved in the action. Ortega's through ball. Well cut out by Ian Hart. Argentinians in their distinctive light blue and white striped shirts doing most of the pressing in the early stages at Lansdowne Road. Steve Staunton has been given the honour of captaining the Irish side for the fourth time. No Roy Keane of course, the Manchester United star. Still on the road back to fitness, not long now it's thought. Vivas under pressure by Niall Quinn the big man doesn't force the throw Argentina's World Cup warm-up for form before last week in Israel was impressive three played three wins on home soil but it is of course in Europe where they're going to have to get it right and get it right quickly as the start of the 1998 World Cup looms ever closer. Goalkeeper, as Germain Burgos gets his first touch of the ball, is one area which Passarella is going to have to sort out once and for all. Even if Batistuta now is back as the number one striker, Shea given out quickly to deny the Fiorentina man. While Given might be now just about established as Ireland's number one, Daniel Passarella chops and changes his keepers. Burgos now just about first choice, although he did use six keepers in all in the World Cup qualifying campaign. Quinn in the unusual position of finding himself wide there. Now Staunton. Lee Carsley of Derby County. Bald headed figure in the heart of the Irish midfield. And you can hear the booming voice of Mick McCarthy all around Lansdowne Road. It's a strange atmosphere to this game. Always lively in Dublin. Always plenty of support for the home side, but tinged with that little bit of disappointment. That the real thing won't be happening in a month's time in France. Edged out by that. Narrow European playoff defeat to Belgium. It really was two back to back defeats exactly a year ago, April 97, to Macedonia and Romania that put the skids on Ireland's qualifying campaign. There are only two defeats of the campaign, but Romania went away to romp qualifying Group 8. Ortega. Kelly, Gary Kelly in hot pursuit. Ian Hart looks for his uncle Gary Kelly with the return pass but Argentina get the throw and 
and Sensini. Ayala's ball to Veron. Sensini again. As Ireland force Argentina to play a patient game inside their own half. This will suit the South American style. Juan Sebastian Veron wearing 11. Takes a position there. Easily recognized in the center of midfield. Tall figure. Tough tackling figure as well. And at the age of 22, the Sampdoria star rapidly becoming a regular in the Argentinian national side, as was his father before him. There's one young man who's not anything like a regular for Ireland yet. 17-year-old Robbie Keane becomes, in this game, the second youngest ever Irish international to start a game for his country. comes in looking for Batistuta takes two to deny him might get in again but across comes Gary Breen the Coventry defender with some useful covering work two green shirts around Gabriel Batistuta every time he threatens to make a break Simeone won't reach that Simeone with the captain's armband back on Batistuta had it briefly against Israel last week Simeone's cross. That's Kevin Kilban. He's denied by the Argentine captain. Great ball from Claudio Lopez looking for Batistuta. Staunton and Hart who collided and Breen covered. Claudio Lopez has started the game wide on the left wearing the number seven. He is very much a left-footed player who generally combines so well with Batistuta. Both were on the score sheet when they were reunited in the national side against Bulgaria recently. They couldn't manage anything in Jerusalem. Sensini gives it away to Carsley. Lucky break perhaps. And the dipping shot from Robbie Keane didn't trouble Burgos, but it shows that the teenager doesn't lack anything in confidence. Technique was there. Couldn't keep the shot down to force a save from the goalkeeper. have done in the power of good on his Lansdowne Road international debut though having the experienced head of Niall Quinn alongside him won't do him any harm either the Irish penalised for the moment Veron supervises free kick duties and away goes Ortega good pace Staunton with him every step of the way very lively start to the game after Argentina in the first two or three minutes showed signs of early dominance Ireland have worked themselves back into it well danger here Ortega and Shea given had to stretch might be called into action again Staunton with the slice clearance whistle goes in any case Ariel Ortega can't believe the save he's just seen from Newcastle United's number one Great agility from Given. Take two for the Argentines. Veron falls onto the head of Vivas. And a goal kick this time for Given to take. Nelson Vivas, number three, was the defender with the last touch there. This was the earlier save once again. Took a deflection. Given does so well. Seller beaten in the air from the goal kick all the way through for something similar at the other end of the field Nick McCarthy rebuilding his side 
Nicky Bonner there, such a stalwart of Irish goalkeeping, sitting just a couple of seats along from the national coach. Another chance once more. Shea given there was the coolest man on the pitch. He knew that Lopez header wasn't going to trouble him unduly. Once again, a good break from Argentina, finding a little bit of space now in the island half of the field. Veron with a rather lazy free kick, but he saw the run of the wide man. Picked him out superbly. Lopez couldn't quite get underneath the ball enough. Ironic cheers greet the free kick, given away by Ayala. And away goes Kilbat. Good pace, good skill as well. Sensini away. Determined play from the Republic of Ireland. Too determined, perhaps, as Simeone trots away. They've earned a free kick. Niall Quinn will be the obvious threat to Argentina here. Steve Staunton leaves it to Gary Kelly. Won't reach Niall Quinn. Kinsella beaten by Veron. Ortega in turn, beaten by the backtracking Gary Breen. Offside against Robbie Keane. Staunton directs operations at the back. Alongside Ian Hart, who from the first whistle has looked a flustered figure. Alongside Gary Breen in the centre of defence. 20-year-old from Leeds United who made his international debut last June against Croatia. His first goal against Bolivia came soon afterwards as Ortega tests and teases the Irish defence. But Ian Hart has played in a variety of positions for his country. And Mick McCarthy in no uncertain terms letting his side know just what he thinks about some of the passing and uh, being beaten to the ball rather too easily in this first half as Batistuta races away and again finds Shea given equal to the shot that one a little more straightforward for the brightly dressed goalkeeper but Gary Breen that time was caught and just to illustrate Mick McCarthy's point he was beaten all too easily and Batistuta should have done better. Breaking through at the other end, it's Robbie Keane with a shot that's well kept out by Burgos. The teenager striking it through a crowd of legs. The keeper does very well. Staunton's ball was a delicious one into the path of Kinsella. Sensini's block and Keane's shot blocked in turn by Burgos. 17-year-old started very well indeed and he's looked Ireland's main threat to the Argentina goal so far Mark Kinsella now will jump with Carsley keen again but offside again so Burgos will clear his lines Bobby Keen looks around looks eager Eager for some direction and assistance from some of his more senior colleagues as well. Carsley and Kinsella are both relatively rookies to the international scene as well as they try to put Gary Kelly away. Goes down but doesn't get the free kick. Now Veron. Carsley. Just wrong footed as away comes Vivas. Veron again, we've seen the range of his passing skills already, this time straight to Staunton. Ortega. Batistuta. Crowded out, three green shirts around him this time. Falls though for Lopez! Straight at Gibbon. Comfortable save from the Newcastle United man. But a well-struck shot, again from the left foot of Lopez. 
nice height for the goalkeeper Kevin Kilban with another chance to take on the defence this time loses his footing and Ortega can bring it away Simeone back now with Almeida and a little overconfident in the midfield Kinsella clattered into by Veron Kinsella continues his run Gary Kelly spots him now won't reach that one though Mark Kinsella but Ireland are giving as good as they get in this first half at Lansdowne Road. Gary Breed. And in Jeff Kenner. First time he's had chance to move down the right-hand touchline into the opposition half of the field. That was the leaning on Niall Quinn, which went unpenalised. Quinn has had little by way of service from out wide which he so thrives on so far in the game just delighted to be back in international action after a season and a half in which just a couple of times he thought that his career was over but he's bounced back and he's playing better than ever in Sunderland's charge towards the Premiership I think McCarthy was at the Stadium of Light on Saturday to check out Niall Quinn's form and fitness and clearly liked what he saw in a 2-1 win over Crew Alexandra. Quinn was actually asked before that game which he felt was the most important. Crew Alexandra are facing Argentina a few days later. In a typical unselfish style. He said Crew, it's far more important for the team. Veron for Argentina. And strikes up as Kintella, Kinsella takes it up. Can't be kept in though by Gary Kelly. Now Vivas. from behind by Steve Staunton that's one thing we won't be seeing go unpunished at the World Cup this summer Steve Staunton might get away without a booking in this warm-up game friendly international but that sort of challenge in France in a month's time will bring about an instant yellow card if nothing more serious he really was rash with that one the island skipper and is fortunate not to have his name taken even in a friendly match, still very competitive. Strange ball from Lopez. Attack looked to be showing signs of momentum and completely killed it off. Forward by Berti. Now Ortega. Great run from Lopez. Batistuta in the centre. Lopez ball and Batistuta with a delightful touch has given Argentina the lead. Well that's why Daniel Passarella simply can't afford to leave him out. He's a hero back home. And it's finishing like that that have brought him goals galore for club and country over the past six or seven seasons. Great finish. Lopez looked to have underhit the cross at first, but he knew exactly where it was going and he knew that Batistuta would make the run and come towards the ball. He obliged and Argentina have the lead after 28 minutes at Lansdowne Road. Lopez and Batistuta combine again, this time no chance for given in goal. Gabriel Batistuta, in an incredible statistic, has scored over 40% of Fiorentina's goals in Italy over the last seven seasons. Over 40% of their goals coming from just one man. Incredible to think, but because of arguments over long hair, whatever it may have been, Daniel Passarella could have ignored him 
until the Bulgaria game a couple of games ago all the way through this year and occasionally in the World Cup qualifying campaign the differences look to have been patched up and just in time for the World Cup first round quest against Japan, Jamaica and Croatia should be a straightforward enough group for the Argentines can Ireland cause them problems in the remainder of this game? Well, certainly the usual never say die spirit, even if the names are unfamiliar in the Ireland lineup. This time Berti gives away a corner. Up comes Gary Breen from the back. As Gary Kelly delivers. Breen it is. Taken away from Quinn. Batistuta jumping into Lee Carsley. The referee quite rightly gives the decision the Republic's way. Nestor Sensini it was, I think, with the final foul. He just made Batistuta the meat in the sandwich, in fact. Nestor Sensini, a survivor of the 1990 World Cup in Italy for Argentina when they of course were runners up to West Germany in one of the worst World Cup finals ever if not the worst Staunton now left footed Burgos watches it go over and Steve Staunton's tested more than a few goalkeepers over the years with that left foot well struck but always rising A swerve on it though from the Republic of Ireland skipper. Burgos might want to note that in case anything else is given away dangerously close to the penalty area. Quinn trying to combine with Kinsella. Too much on that for Staunton. Daniel Passarella. Lois Sider a goal to nil up, has plenty to think about. Knows his side really need to win this game. If he's going to escape some serious flak back home and with a really prestigious warm-up game coming up in a week's time. They face Brazil a week tonight in Rio. And there'll be no quarter given or asked for in that one. The two greats of South American football. Can be sure it'll be full strength sides all round as Staunton take this one Robbie Keane feeling the force of a two-footed challenge he's okay though Staunton now can't find Breen or Quinn Carsley will jump too strong right idea from the Derby midfielder looks remarkably like England and Nottingham Forest Steve Stone in both Appearance head on and in the way he carries himself, in fact. Uh, Stone very much a winger. And Carsley and the centre of midfield. It's Carsley and Breen between them with a nudge on Veron. Thinking about an Argentina free kick. Again goes Veron. Almeida, Veron again. Carsley in close attendance. Robbie Keane, I think, if any decision had gone, it would have gone against him there. Instead, Argentina come away. Ortega, twinkling feet, that's good play. Back comes Lee Carsley, who's approaching this game in committed fashion, friendly or not. Win. Good control to pick out Gary Kelly. Kenner's making the run. Kelly instead looks for Kilban. Great tackle. Sensini stretches. And the shot from Kenner blocked by the experienced defender. Good move from the Republic of Ireland. Kevin Kilban's shot nearly found Niall Quinn. 
And it was Matthias Almeida with the challenge. And then Sensini to block the effort from Kenner. Argentina really stretched there. Kevin Kilban had a great position. Might have done better with both efforts that he had, both the shot and the cross. Ortega battling and winning. Lopez pops up right side now. Simeone. Straight to Gary Kelly, but Simeone will get another chance. With the help of Almeida. And Robbie Keane. This time goes, does get the free kick awarded in his favour. Ireland by no means out of this. If they can't get a goal back before half time, I'm sure they'll feel they'll be able to get something in the second half. They've matched the Argentinians, certainly for effort. Perhaps some of the skill in the midfield. Is where the South Americans shaded and with the pace of people like Claudio Lopez. Still Lopez! Oh, this time Badistuta not on the end of his centre. Took a deflection. Claudio Lopez thinks about what might have been if he'd gone for a shot on goal directly himself. Started from Gary Breen's hopeful ball forward, which Burgos just plunked off Niall Quinn's head, and then away was Lopez. Left Ian Hart for dead, but the finish didn't quite match up. Kenner. Kinsella's ahead of Kelly. So is Keane. Still Gary Kelly, urged to get rid of the ball by the crowd, and Veron eventually does the job for Argentina anyway. Ortega. Here's Lopez once more, he's finding space at the end of this first half. Oh, Ortega making the run. Staunton's head was crucial. Staunton again, this time met by his opposing captain Simeone. Simeone decides to just hold up play, break the move. And played forward, but easy for given. And Argentina still have just that one goal lead. Shea given them with plenty of time to clear his lines. Argentina still leading by that one goal to nil at Lansdowne Road, thanks to a 29th minute strike by Batty Goal. Gabriel Batistuta, his second goal in the last three internationals following a spell. And in the wilderness, really. He's again buzzing around the penalty area and Staunton hands it hasn't managed to clear. Ortega. Simeone. And Berti continues his run, but Batistuta can't find him. Kinsella's clearance. And Robbie Key gives chase gamely and gets goal side of Sensini. Good run from the 17-year-old up against a player who's played in a World Cup final. Keane's cross intercepted all too easily. Kinsella now. Ambitious shot! And Burgos caused just a few problems by it. Stinging effort from Mark Kinsella. He's enjoyed the season of his life for Charlton as his opposite number. The Argentine number seven, Lopez, gets clear. And once again, when he gets within breathing distance of the goal line, his composure just leaves him. End-to-end -end stuff now, it's Kevin Kilban. Can he do something similar? Met by the challenge of Bertie and now Ariel Ortega is thumped into by Steve Staunton. Well, the free kick's been given to Argentina. Staunton's been booked. Or he hasn't been booked, rather. He was lucky to escape a booking a little earlier on. And he's got away scot-free there as well. Here was Lopez. The run of Ian Hart across him. Possibly doing just enough to put him off his shooting sights. And there was the shot of Kinsella. Maybe it looked more spectacular than it actually was. Burgos dealt with it quite comfortably. Oh, 
Ortega. Almeida. And Veron, the man who makes things tick in the Argentine midfield. Veron and Simeone, such a good pair. This time Veron's caught by Carsley. Almeida finds Simeone. The Inter Milan player looks instinctively for Batistuta. This time hasn't instinctively timed his run. And away is Staunton. Quinn's taken up a good position on the far side. Didn't reach him. Still hovering around that right edge of the penalty area. Berti gives it straight to Kinsella. Now here's Robbie Keane. There's only Quinn in support. Coming forward now is Kinsella. Kilban there as well. And here is Kevin Kilban. Didn't connect properly. Hesitant shot. Carsley. Kenneth Quinn. Carsley again. And he miss hit the cross. But Kevin Kilban now has had at least two great opportunities to at least test the goalkeeper. Good work from Robbie Keane once more. You have to be impressed with the 17-year-old from Wolverhampton Wanderers. Kilban didn't hit the shot with any real conviction. Perhaps it just caught him rocking back on his heels. Staunton again looking for Keane. Leaping in was Ayala. And then Veron. Ahead of Gary Kelly. Determined work from Veron. Great ball as well. Lopez. Blue and white shirts. Poor forward. Ortega. Surely a great chance for two. But his stoot is unmarked 20 yards out. And it's a great goal. But his stooter wasn't needed. The Irish defence were distracted by his taking up a position on the edge of the area. But Ortega had something else in mind completely. A magnificent finish. And the Valencia man has made it 2-0 with five minutes to go until half-time. Look at this. Given out of position. Kenner out of position. All eyes on Batistuta in the middle. And Ortega simply lifted his right foot and chipped it beautifully into the net. Great skill, great individual goal. 2-0 Argentina. Everything about the finish, the accuracy and the power was just right. Anything less, Gary Breen would have been able to head that over the crossbar or off the goal line but the dip and the trajectory of the ball was just right Argentina two goals to nil ahead and this is a far cry from their unimpressive performance in a 2-1 defeat to Israel just a week ago coach Daniel Passarella actually said after that game that Israel looked in actual fact a good side they have won four in a row and my team failed to play both as a group and individuals well they're really turning it on in Dublin Passarella won't mind whether the goal scorers have got long hair, earrings, whatever they may be. His hard line image looks to be melting somewhat as he finds out who are the players that will serve him best. Perhaps defenders will be called into question here, but not troubled at all by Robbie Keane that time. perhaps with the aid of a replay having a good shout for a corner and an even better shout for a free kick which is heard by the referee this doesn't see it walks away player who's seen it all and just about done it all hasn't convinced that many people of his international pedigree over the last 10 years that he's graced the shirt of Argentina but he's been around long enough and gets selected not perhaps an automatic choice these days Nestor Sensini 
But he's certainly in the side more often than not. Carsley. Quinn looking for the touch. Away now. Well, I was going to say, away will go Argentina. Only the run from Sergio Berti, but instead, Matias Almeida was caught by Lee Carsley. And the Derby County man was certainly very late indeed with that challenge. signs of frustration in the Lansdowne Road crowd. I think they've generally been entertained by what they've seen in this first half. They might have something to cheer here, but Sensini gets there ahead of Kinsella. Shea Givens out of his penalty area. Carsley helps it away. Kelly. Out of play. In fact, there's a flag up for offside. Robbie Keane just moving just a fraction of a second too early. The band playing game Leon, but uh, I say a fraction of a second too early is miles offside. Certainly a bit of the passion has gone out of the crowd as they await the half time whistle. And they're seeing a thoroughly professional display from Argentina. But they've also seen Ireland create a few chances of their own. Wouldn't bet against them getting a goal before the end of this one. McCarthy's message at half time will be very much to the effect that his side's not out of it. And while Ireland continue to look the more eager, Argentina are starting to stroke the ball around so well. Here's Batistuta, Bertie's flick, Kilban back. Throw Argentina, which won't be taken because the sides will troop off to the dressing rooms. For a well-earned break, it's been an entertaining first half at Lansdowne Road. Lit up, first of all, by Gabriel Batistuta. Claudio Lopez down the left. Batistuta with a typical Predators goal, stealing in at the near post. And then a delightful individual effort from Ariel Ortega. Half-time, Republic of Ireland nil, Argentina 2. Ready for the start of the second half of the prestigious friendly between the Republic of Ireland and Argentina. 2-0 as you can see at the interval. And Irish coach Mick McCarthy has seen enough to force him into making three changes for the start of the second period. Phil Babb has replaced Ian Hart at the heart of the defence. Dennis Irwin is on in place of West Bromwich Albion winger Kevin Kilban. And a change in goal too. Alan Kelly of Sheffield United will play in the second half in place of Newcastle's Shea Given. So it's Niall Quinn at the age of 31 and 14 years his junior Robbie Keane to kick off. Immediately spreading it towards Gary Kelly and Sensini caught out. Robbie Keane now just can't quite find Quinn. And Ireland starting the second half brightly. Phil Babb's first touch. Again, it's Quinn clattered into surely a free kick. And he gets it. Given against Vivas. No intention of jumping for the ball there. Even if he had, I don't think he'd have got high enough to trouble Quinn. Who might just trouble Argentina here. Staunton and Gary Kelly. And now Dennis Irwin comes to lend a hand. All pack. Quite a mean strike. It's going to be Dennis Irwin. And this time he's way off target. Only just come on into the action. Give that 10 minutes. And he might just trouble the goalkeeper. Irwin representing the Irish old guard joining Steve Staunton and Niall Quinn and I think it's fair to say Phil Babb in that department now Not 
not too many left in the heady days of Jack Charlton's reign. Away goes Veron. Jeff Kenner's with him. Now Bertie. Alan Kelly stays on his line and Staunton, well, I think the bounce gave the fullback every opportunity to find Kelly. Just for a moment, with Ortega steaming in, it looked dangerous. Quinn, well marshalled by Sensini, this time the free kick goes the other way. play at the start of the second half is following little spells we saw in the first 45 patches of frenetic action the ball quickly changing possession and moving from end to end Staunton's move forward but we'll have to get back here because Ortega he had Simeone in support instead he goes long and looks for Lopez and Alan Kelly with a safe pair of hands the roar goes up as Ireland try and spark something else Bab caught in possession. Ortega. Batistuta hovering around the penalty spot. Dennis Irwin with all his experience thwarts Ortega. And Vivas will have to start something from deep inside his own half again. Nick McCarthy said before this game that even though Argentina may have lost to Israel that if anything would make it harder for his side tonight he said that defeat will have had the effect of concentrating minds in the Argentinian squad there's no way they're going to want to lose two in a row and I think that sums up the sort of display we've seen it's mixed moments of class with long spells of hard concentrated work and determination Ireland perhaps have just lacked that little edge in class to really trouble Argentina. More than made up for it. On the other side of their game, the buzzing around, making life difficult. It's a really good workout for Argentina ahead of next week's game against Brazil in Rio. Totally different sort of game that will be, I'm sure. Tistuta wrong side of the offside flag well, looking at this here Let's see if the assistant referee got it right in fact we'll leave it there as Staunton goes on another sortie forward he's doing that more and more in this second half challenged by the youthful looking Almeida Lazio defender, usually a substitute for Lazio behind compatriot Jose Chamot in the pecking order in Rome in actual fact Argentina's players have just returned from a break in Rome courtesy of Lazio's arch rivals AS Roma who lent the Argentinian squad all their training facilities for a couple of days following their defeat to Israel to get tuned in again and recharge those batteries which looks to have worked Jerusalem to Rome to Dublin in less than a week. They're having a potted tour of Europe while they're over here getting ready for the long trip to France, or they hope they'll be there a long time in any case. Away there goes Bertie. Lopez, well, panicked Alan Kelly somewhat. No problem for Dennis Irwin to keep the ball in play. Quinn. Not enough on the pass to find Keane. And then Bab into the back of Batistuta. Another free kick. Not surprising when you see the replay. Ayala. 
Ortega now looking to exchange passes with Simeone. And Lopez showing great pace and willing to work down the left hand side if not the best finishing this evening has forced a corner off Jeff Kenner. Argentina looking to trouble Alan Kelly. As they troubled Shea given in the first half, he uh, made two excellent saves, the Newcastle man, as well as conceding two that he really could do nothing about. Shea given who passed 22 on Monday. And Alan Kelly is reserved yet to show his stuff as that is Stuti for once. It's nowhere near the posts. a few visiting supporters dotted around the ground in Lansdowne Road They're making quite a bit of noise it's not just the Irish band that you can hear a few South Americans have brought some drums and trumpets with them as well all adding to a lively atmosphere a very friendly carnival atmosphere as well Sensini picks out Lopez. Irwin and Breen combine well. Now Gary Kelly. Great turn from Keane. Sensini reads it well. Lee Carsley picks it up. Carsley determined. Now Kinsella. Irwin makes the run away from Staunton. The pair combining down that left hand side that they've battled to fill with each other for the last few seasons. Here now is Jeff Kenner. Thinks about setting his sights. Keane finds Kinsella. In fact, it's Gary Kelly giving chase with Nelson Vivas. Throw to the Republic of Ireland. Keane. This possessed this time. Ricochet off the Wolves teenager's knee. And a throw in goes to the Argentinians. Daniel Passarella making his first change of the evening. Sergio Berti will leave the field to be replaced by Mauricio Pineda. Lopez jumping and beaten by Phil Babb. Berti, who's just gone off, given his chance after coming on as a sub in the Last two games, a win over Bulgaria, defeat in Israel. And he's done a workmanlike job just in front of the back four. As for Pineda. Well, he's somewhat more of a regular in the Argentine starting lineup. Quinn, lovely bring down on his chest. Here now is Gary Kelly. Great cross from Kelly. There is Lyle Quinn. Oh, so close. Couldn't have done anything more to score. Burgos beaten and the woodwork saves Argentina from letting in a first Irish goal. Great header from Quinn. Credit to Gary Kelly too. He had almost no room to work in to get that cross into the middle. And Quinn did, well, almost did more than make the best of it. It was a great header. Best chance that Ireland have created yet. And Niall Quinn now looks a different player. 63rd international cap. The former Arsenal and Manchester City man. 15 goals to his season with Sunderland. 15 goals that even he at the start of the season wouldn't have thought he'd get anywhere near. Troubled by three knee operations. And at 
once they're all set to pack it in and start writing about the game and concentrating on his racehorses but plenty of years left to offer at the top in football yet you feel certainly on the strength of this performance Carsley Bobby Keane caught not for the first time his appeals are in vain so still Argentina lead by two goals to nil Gabriel Batistuta on 28 minutes Ariel Ortega on 40 minutes with the Argentine goals but Ireland knitting together as the game goes on certainly some of the football they've been playing has improved since the half-time substitutions made by Mick McCarthy Dennis Irwin and Phil Babb making a bit of a difference adding a little bit more experience and another decision is given in Ireland's favour even Batistuta coming back to help out now as Gary Breen and Phil Babb move menacingly forward. Quinn gets the flick. Veron beaten by Carsley. And Lee Carsley will get the free kick though. Veron told to walk away. Already on and around Niall Quinn maybe they can conjure up some sort of shot from here Steve Staunton to Gary Kelly and Kelly there just stumbling as he's shaped to get the cross in You can hear once again the cries of Mick McCarthy from the touchline. Once the ball played in early, fancy free kicks are all well and good. You're not going to trouble Argentina unless you get it just right. When you're 2-0 down, go for the simple things. Or worse to that effect from the Irish dugout. Kenner, straight into the knees of Veron. Lee Carsley comes in. He can be happy with his performance. He's menaced a few of the blue and white striped shirts. And he's rattled Juan Sebastian Veron there with high feet raised, but it was six and one half a dozen of the other as Ireland come forward once more. Burgos watches it loop over the crossbar. Again, it's Quinn. Carsley's quickly taken free kick. Better cross from Kelly. Quinn wanted it. And instead it was taken away from him. Gary Breen coming in at the back. Really? Really? And forced back now. Bab to Alan Kelly. Robbie Keane looks to link up with Quinn. Great position taken up by Kelly. There's only Robbie Keane in the middle. Staunton came late. And Jeff Kenner creates something. Not with three Argentines around him. Veron. Carsley again. Looking for Kinsella. Helps it on towards Keane. And another chance for the Charlton man to pick out Kelly. Robbie Keane's inside. Still Robbie Keane. Kelly wants to get the cross in. Useful looking one, Staunton, now Kinsella, he was falling as he shot and didn't make a clean connection but Ireland are on top at this moment, they really deserve something out of the game even if it is only a consolation goal but if they get one and keep the momentum up there's no reason why they couldn't get really back in this game, great work there from Robbie Keane, he's belied his 17 years, he's had a great game alongside Niall Quinn and here he goes again good challenge still keen Kelly Quinn waits doesn't get the delivery that he wants and Staunton is beaten out of it by Ortega 
who goes down rather theatrically and the referee notes that no foul by Mark Kinsella Batistuta met by Bat still play on it's livening up now there's a despairing challenge comes in from Kelly Ortega Batistuta receiving the booze now Simeone and Argentina slow it down once more Ireland had a great little spell of 10 minutes or so and Argentina will try and get the pace back to their liking here's Lopez who seems to like to do most things quickly even he's delaying Staunton goes for the old route one Quinn this time challenged well and fairly by Roberto Ayala the Napoli sweeper he goes into the World Cup with a great reputation for his ability in the air and he proved it there he stands some four inches shorter at least than Niall Quinn but towered above him and he's there again first this time on the floor Kinsella good skills pulling away is Keane well, he'll try anything he'll try absolutely anything Robbie Keane but McCarthy rates him very highly indeed Mark McGee at Wolves rates him equally highly you can see why in this game still not a regular at Molyneux either Irwin Kelly comfortably enough clearance from Almeida well taken up by Ortega who sees Lopez away Claudio Lopez runs straight into Jeff Kenner well perhaps that's doing a disservice to Kenner it was good defending although that's not such good distribution Veron gets away I'll find Batistuta Almeida Veron Sensini and again the pace is slowed Veron and Diego Simeone wearing the black armband on his left sleeve the Argentina captain he's had his usual sort of game defensive midfielder sits back strokes the ball around and again when he wants it slowing he'll slow it he's the most capped player in the side over 60 caps and a survivor from their last World Cup campaign in the United States there he is again cog in the wheel while the Irish fans boot Argentina just pass it around here goes Ortega now Simeone's move forward Batistuta in the middle and Dab was there too Almeida sets his sights and Alan Kelly tells him just how far away he was with that one but Alan Kelly's barely had a shot to save since replacing Shea Given at half time and that sums up how dominant that the Republic of Ireland have been in this second half still they trail by two goals to nil Batistuta and Ortega on target for Argentina but it bodes well for Ireland's Euro 2000 qualifying campaign they've been drawn in group 8 another tough draw alongside Yugoslavia Croatia Macedonia doesn't sound tough but they did beat the Republic in their World Cup qualifying group and Malta which should be a little more straightforward he cars that gives away the free kick on Almeida although he did get the ball first although by and large the man in the middle has refereed the game very well hasn't taken any nonsense in, but in there 
balance of that, he's also let the game flow as much as possible. It hasn't been a stop-start affair as Ortega finds Lopez. Batistuta shooting chance and flinging himself in the path of the ball to block it. Here's Gary Breen back there. Ortega's chip, Lopez the control. And the block between Breen and Kenner. Well, that last ditch block by Jeff Kenner has forced him out of the action indeed, replaced by Rory Delap. So, another young man getting a taste of international action. Kenner went in to block the effort of Gabriel Batistuta. It clattered into his ankle. He left the field on a stretcher. I don't think there's any lasting damage there. He was smiling as he left the field, but. No precautions are too much when it's only a friendly international. So the Blackburn man off. And Rory de Lapp on to show what he can do. Here's Steve Staunton. Nowhere near Niall Quinn that time. The captain knows that that should have been better. Ortega, scorer of the delightful Argentina second goal. Pineda. And substitute Marcello Pineda again. Almeida. Sensini under pressure from Staunton. Manages to find a combination of Pineda and Veron. And now Ortega always seems to be able to find room for himself. Batistuta with Bab. And Gabriel Batistuta may have scored one tonight, but on a normal day at the office, he could have helped himself to three by now. Trying the ambitious there. Star of the show for me, that man, Ariel Ortega. Almost for the second goal alone, but also the way he always manages to carve out a little hole for himself to work in wherever on the field he may be. And then in a twinkling, he's away from his opponent, Ortega, who understudied Diego Maradona at USA 94. And you can see where he's learned some of his tricks repertoire from. He's still only 24, the Valencia midfielder. But he's been a regular international for some five years now. And he's another one to mark down in France this summer. Remember, all 64 games of France 98 will be shown in their entirety here on Eurosport. The likes of Ronaldo, Roberto Carlos, Luis Enrique, Raul Gonzalez, England stars of course, Alan Shearer and co. And perhaps looking at Argentina and Daniel Passarella's side. And Ariel Ortega and Gabriel Batistuta will be two more to keep us enthralled in June and July. Seller will hope to play in a World Cup in the future. His main aim at the moment is getting into the Premiership with Charlton Athletic. Involved again. As he gives away the throw to Pineda. In the Republic's last game, it was an even younger side than this one that lost 2-1 to the Czech Republic. Damien Duff of Blackburn Rovers involved, young prodigy. Eddie Woodpark, Alan Mabry of Leeds United as well, Gareth Farrelly of Everton, and all, and Kevin Connolly of Feyenoord, the ex Watford striker. So plenty of options for Mick McCarthy as he shapes his side for a Euro 2000 qualifying campaign. Here's Veron for Argentina. Ortega, Lopez, Dilap tries to put Lopez off his stride for the cross and Alan Kelly looks for Niall Quinn, holds his ground but Sensini does likewise, 
Ja, weer dan. Cancelo to Staunton. Quinn's peeling away. Right edge of the penalty area. If Staunton can see him. If Staunton can get out of the tight hole that he's created for himself first. Straight down the cul-de-sac, the Irish skipper. I think it's fair to say hasn't enjoyed one of his better international games. Here goes Robbie Keane. Now Niall Quinn. Nobody in the middle. Lee Carsley tries to get the second wave going. Irwin. Staunton shrugged off easily by Vivas. Now Ortega away. Some more magic from the little number 10. The new Maradona. Here is still Ortega. And then he has to be brought down by Bab and Carsley. Robbie Keane still mulling over that chance at the other end. What a delightful turn. And then Quinn. Couldn't quite get it away from Burgos, the goalkeeper. And Robbie Key really has looked the part at international level. His full debut, after coming on as a sub in Olomouc against the Czechs last month, skills like that turned there. Have made everyone sit up and take notice. He's having the time of his life at Lansdowne Road. Argentina prepare to make a second change. It's going to be Marcelo Delgado who comes on, replacing the lively Lopez, who takes the plaudits as he takes his seat. So Delgado on, seven minutes or so remaining. Ireland nil, Argentina two. Batistuta and Ortega on target. De Lamp. Off target. Staunton. And again his touch deserts him. Ortega's neat flick. De Lamp with a chance for a more effective clearance. Veron stretches, beaten though by Kinsella, who then runs into Nesto Sensini. And then De Lapp, quite clearly guilty of holding on to Ortega, and receives the first yellow card of the evening, the young substitute. And well, that's just a little harsh, bearing in mind Steve Staunton's two challenges in the first half that went unpunished. The referee's patience has finally snapped. Seller, who was booked in the defeat in the Czech Republic last month, but nearly got on with a job in the central midfield tonight. Now Robbie Keane just took his eye off the ball for a, se for a second. Viva snips in. But an Irish corner. And again, the customary side of Breen and Bab moving forward. Again, it's Robbie Keane. That was delightful skill. Oh, that deserved a goal. Keane deserves a goal. Skipping past two challenges. Combining with the skipper Staunton. And then he just sold Pineda, the outrageous dummy. And the deflection takes it away. Quinn beaten by Burgos. The keeper's down, but Veron will just eat up a bit of time. De Lapp tries to put him under pressure. But it's an Argentina goal kick. But 2 0 behind or not, the vast majority of this Lansdowne Road crowd will go home talking about Robbie Keane. And what a performance they've seen from a 17 year old with the brightest possible future ahead of him. No fear, bags of confidence. And he's playing against an Argentina side who, don't forget, are right among the favourites to put on a good show at the World Cup Finals. Showing no respect for them whatsoever. This time even enthusiasm won't keep that ball in.
Here's Ortega. And it's just to shrug off Kinsella. Great run forward in support from Delgado. Couldn't be found. Kinsella combines with Irwin. Now Sensini. Rare move forward from the defender. Nestor Sensini continues. Delgado. Quinn charges down. And then Delgado. Might have been wiser trying to shepherd that out for a corner. Well, you could hear then as the public address system started to read out the Man of the Match award. The cheers that started to rise when the number 10 was announced. People thought it was going to be the name of Robbie Keane, but instead Ariel Ortega of Argentina takes the honours. But I think those two have just about tied it. The two number 10s have been a joy to watch. And clearly the crowd and sponsors choosing the man of the match agree entirely. Here is Ortega. Delgado looking for Batistuta. Alan Kelly there. There a chance to keep for Keane to crown his home international debut. Still looks as lively now in the final minutes as he did right at the start. The Irish fans have got a new player to champ Kino about. They'll soon have two on the field once Roy of Manchester United, no relation. He's back to full fitness. Delap. Quinn this time doesn't jump. Away comes Pineda. And Ortega. Great skill again. And a lovely bit of play between Delgado and Simeone. And forward comes Vivas. Simeone! Oh, it must be three! How did that stay out? Cleared finally by Delap. But Batistuta agonizingly close to a second goal of the night for him. It almost stopped on the goal line. It was a glorious Argentinian move. Now here's Kelly for Ireland. Carsley. And Delap. Couldn't check his run. Lovely piece of play before this ball. And then the cross from Vivas onto Batistuta. He must have thought that he'd scored. Touch from Kelly onto the post and all the way across the goal line. Still time for Argentina to score a third. Irish pride will try and prevent this one. Adding insult to injury. They've certainly put themselves into a very good performance of Ireland in this game. I think one goal in it would be a far more true reflection of the performances of either side. Argentina have rediscovered their touch as well. Might be a different story in Rio next week against the Brazilians. It will certainly be a World Cup warm-up to watch. Will it be repeated in France in the summer? Well, let's hope so. Those are the sort of games that people are queuing and jamming phone lines for tickets to see as Veron doesn't even trouble Alan Kelly. Always going wide. And as Quinn looks for the flick on, climbing high above Roberto Ayala. The full-time whistle 
is blown and it's the end of a thoroughly entertaining friendly international in Dublin. Steve Staunton gets the shirt of Gabriel Batistuta. Ariel Ortega keeps his firmly on his back. Great game of football, great workout for Argentina and some great confidence that Ireland can take into their Euro 2000.